Recently, the nation lost one of its most technologically ingenious scholars and academic. A globally acclaimed scientist, renowned engineer, accomplished administrator, who loved arts with a very deep passion. In fact, he was quite a connoisseur with a vast collection of exotic artworks. A consummate supporter of the English Premiership Club, Manchester United of England. He was a lover of music, especially jazz music, and until his sudden passing seven weeks ago, at the age of 68 years, he was the president of Abuja Jazz Club. A highly detrabalized Nigerian, who had unmatched pan-Nigerian credentials with friends across all parts of the country. The late quintessential academic genius, whose shocking death the entire nation is yet to come to terms with, is Professor Olushegun Oyeleke Adewoye, who hailed from Ilesha in the Ilesha East local government area of Oshun State of Nigeria. Professor Adewoye will be remembered among many groundbreaking achievements recorded in his honor for the way he injected life into the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, NASENI, which was on the thrills of total extinction at the time he took over as Chief Executive Officer of the agency. In five years, Professor Olushegun Adewoye not only succeeded in turning around the fortunes of the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, NASENI, an agency under the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, but also established two new specialized high technology centers in addition to the six already in existence in the agency. A fellow of the Academy of Engineering, a current certified engineer, fellow Nigerian Society of Engineers, fellow British Institute of Ceramics, now Institute of Materials, Mining and Minerals, member Nigerian Institute of Physics, fellow Royal Microscopic Society England, fellow Chemical Society of Nigeria, fellow the United States Africa Institute of Materials, inaugural president of the Material Society of Nigeria, and past president African Materials Research Society, an erudite scholar, and author of numerous academic and technical publications in Nigeria and around the world, Professor Lushe Dewoye was indeed a great asset and national icon. It will certainly be very difficult to fill the great vacuum created by his demise. Sadly, at a time when Nigeria was just beginning to wake up to the reality of the fact that the future of the country depends in the development of science and technology. Professor Olushegun Adewoye's academic accomplishments are awesome. All of these he obtained from most of the highly respected citadels of higher learning in the world. Interestingly, through scholarships on account of his exceptional brilliance. Professor Olushegun Adewoye's first degree was a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom. He bagged a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Metallurgy and Material Science from the University of Cambridge, also in the United Kingdom. Professor Adewoye began his working career still in the academic environment as a lecturer after his PhD at the Cambridge University and later the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, where he rose through the ranks to become a Professor of Material Science and Engineering in 1989. At the Abuja Jazz Club, constituted in the main by distinguished Nigerians from different spheres in life, who are either past or present chief executives of their companies, government parastatals, serving and retired highly placed military officers, or frontline politicians and first class academics, the passing of Professor Olushe Gunadewoy, who was the past president of the Abuja Jazz Club, was celebrated in a big way. A night of tributes was organized in Professor Lushegun Adewoye's honor and memory, and this brought together members of the Abuja Jazz Club from all parts of Nigeria. This is to reminisce on the very eventful life and times of the iconic personality who it was generally agreed came many years ahead of his time. Although it was agreed that the night of tribute for Professor Lushegun Adewoye should not be one for mourning, but rather for celebration of an accomplished achiever 
mentor to many, and a humanist for excellence. However, because of the deep love he shared with most members of the club, many of whom are not from his ethnic Yoruba stock, some of them tried unsuccessfully to contain their emotions while giving testimonies about Professor Shegwa Dewey. But they caved in at the last minute, like Greg Ozebe, who in fact ended his testimony about Professor Lu Shegwa Dewey midway abruptly and burst into tears. Angela Chuku, the permanent secretary of the FCDA, could also not contain his emotions and grief over the sudden death of the erudite scholar who loved everyone truly from his heart. The night of tributes in memory of Professor Lucia Gumadewoy, organized by the Abuja Jazz Club, which had in attendance the twin children of Professor Adewoy, Taiwo and Kendi Adewoy, and their families, began formally with rendition of jazz music which helped to appropriately condition the minds of members of the club for the celebration of the great, worthy and exemplary life lived by Professor Lucia Gunga Dewey, the engineering colossus and world-class scientist of all time. Prince Shei Lufadiju, in his welcome remarks, put into perspective why Abuja Jazz Club put this special night together for Professor Lucia Gumadewoy. He also signposted the special attributes that made Professor Adewoy an uncommon person in all ramifications. For us in the Abuja Jazz Club, one of the rudest shocks that we could ever have was the sudden passing away of Professor Shegun Adewoy. That event really shook us and created a big but we are sure that from the rubbles that we find ourselves now, the Abuja Jazz Club will rise again in memory of Professor Adewoye and to consolidate his name in history. There is nothing that uh, anybody can say here today that I can personally say that can describe the type of loss that we have suffered. But we have taken this in a stride and we have given the glory to God Almighty that it was the time that God wanted to call him that God called him. And we pray that his soul will continue to rest in peace. In his own remarks, Engineer Chuku, the permanent secretary of the FCDA, who had known Professor Adewoy in the last 10 years in which they had developed a very close bond, also testified to the fact that Professor Adewoy had touched the lives of many people, Nigerians and non-Nigerians alike. Engineer Chuku promised to support the foundation Professor Shegun Adewoy set up for the education of brilliant but indigent children. He also promised to institute a prize at the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, and the University of Nigeria in Suka for the study of science and engineering. This is in honor of Professor Shegun Adewoy. Finally, in affectionate and loving memory of his dear departed friend, Engineer Chuku decided to formally declare his intention to join the Abuja Jazz Club in fulfillment of the promise he had previously made to Professor Shegun Adewoye during his lifetime. Professor Adewoye, Shegun Adewoye, I don't want to use words, he's a committed, a patriot, a Nigerian to the core. Professor Adewoye's friendship and family 
had no boundary. And they were here related to everybody, the young, the old. And he mentored so many people. He was, of course, like you see in his biography, a renowned scientist, engineer, accomplished administrator. But there was something that was unique about him. He was a jolly good fellow. He was an art lover. And the second request he made of me was that I should be a member of the jazz club. And I say, Prof, when I have the time that I will come. And here we are today. Prof is no more, but his legacy remains. Engineer Emeka Eze, the Director General of the Bureau for Public Enterprises, BPE, said his greatest regret over the sudden passing of Professor Shegun Adeoy is that his proposed partnership with him for the establishment of a foundry workshop for the manufacture of spare parts locally may have to wait longer than necessary before it sees the light of day. Engineer Emeka has said that Professor Shegun Adeoy towers far above his peers in the knowledge of engineering and technology. He said Professor Adewoye and himself had long been tinkering with the idea of making a case for the establishment of a special fund for the development of technology and the advancement of science and engineering in Nigeria, so that Nigeria can quickly catch up with the rest of the world in the area of science and technology, which is an instant catalyst for development. When Professor Adewoye heard that my son got admission at Imperial College. And he said, wow, that is one of the best colleges in the world where you can do engineering. And he said, do I have his number? He went on a trip to UK and called a young boy, got his address, and went to him. He didn't ask him to come. He went to him, of course, talked to him, encouraged him, and gave him small pocket money. That's the proof that they were for you. Anywhere he sees a talent, he goes out for the person. You are the reason I live. You're the word for me. Yes, you're the one for me. Why should I feel when I have you? I'm surrounded by your love, your everlasting love. Others who gave tributes about the giant strides of Professor Lucia Gwadeoi and his exceptionally warm disposition towards people included former Minister of Science and Technology, Professor Turner Iswong, with whom Professor Adewoye worked closely when he was minister. I have known Adewoye for over 10 years. Actually, I met him when I was minister, and I visited engineering material science in Akure. That was the first time I met him, almost 10 years ago. Then something interesting occurred he told me that he wanted to apply to be DG of Nasini. And the ministry that I was in charge, I introduced the idea that all positions of um, DG or management must be advertised and must be selected on the basis of merit. Uh, Shegun asked me whether he should apply. I said, yes, he will apply. And then, I promised him that I want him to apply and on my own part, I will not do him a favor, but I will ensure that there is level playing ground and the choice will be on the basis of merit. And the good news is that we made it happen. And under my leadership, we ensured that Adawaye became the Director General of Nasini.
Others were retired squadron leader Olusegun Koka, who paid glowing tribute to Professor Shegun Adewoi for his value-adding contribution as treasurer when he had the mandate to revive the Abuja Jazz Club. Like those of you who are close to Shegun, who know that uh, he was stubborn to a point. When he believes in something, he will stick on to it. But if you can give him a convincing or superior argument, he will bow. Uh, in that regard, Prince Sheyilu Fadeju was the intermediary between me and Shegun because as a retired military officer, I will not give in easily when I believe in something. And as an academic, he will also stand his ground. So, the Lord was on uh, Sheilu Fadeju to broker peace. Other contributors included Mr. Sholaola, retired AVM Marizu, and Otumba Shegun Ushewe. Some of his artwork should be brought to bear. And we should be able to use the forum of Abuja Jazz Club to exhibit some of his work. We can do that maybe in a 15 to 30 minutes program on our regular jazz nights on Friday, have a lecture to support this artwork, get some specialists in art to do that. We can program this thing and begin to use it to remember our Professor Adewoye, who has done so much, not only for the club, but for indeed the entire nation called Nigeria. May he so rest in peace. Thank you. Otumba Shagun Ushewe infused a lot of anecdotes and humor to his tributes as he remembered the greatest scientist and unmatched engineer that bestrode the firmament of Nigeria like a colossus. Something happened in 19. 26 in Ibadan. A very popular man, Chief Ajibola, passed on and they went to Chief Obafemi Awolo. They said, Chief has just left. He said, We are. They said, He's dead. He said, A professor never dies. A professor only goes for his next research. And I said to myself, What kind of research can this be? He said, Research of life. The vote of thanks was given by Greg Ozegbe, a member of the planning committee of the Night of Tributes organized by the Abuja Jazz Club, in loving and affectionate memory of Professor Lucia Gwadewoi. It was a more composed Greg Ozegbe, who had shaken off his earlier emotions that confronted the audience this time around. To thank everyone for honoring the great friend of the Abuja Jazz Club. In the post-event interview conducted by BOS Chief Correspondent in charge of Biscuit Communications Northern Operations, Adeya Yefamudu, there were still more encomiums, eulogies, and accolades for Professor Lucia Gwadewoi. His twin sons, Taiwo and Kendi Adewoi, already in their 40s, said they never knew their father had impacted the society that much, and that that makes them very proud of him, and are therefore inspired to even beat his record as they remember him with fond memories. Still discovering ourselves now, um, who it was. So, um, very kind, intelligent, uh, a forward-thinking man. Maybe a bit ahead of his time, really. Mm. Yes, absolutely. But, uh, you know, we thank God uh, that through all the programs, and since his passing about six weeks ago, um, we've had the opportunity to be to be blessed by the you know by a lot of people, a lot of people that he has uh, impacted, people that we are aware of, and people that uh, we're just meeting. Uh, we thank God that he has you know given us something that we can aspire uh, to be. Yeah, so so we're, we're very grateful. It's always been special, but what I found out, I mean, since his passing, is that you know I. I thought it was special, but I didn't realize it was this special. I mean, now I can see. I mean, I can see the tributes. I can see what people have said, and I, and I, what I'm left with is that okay, this man was my dad for over 40 years, but I didn't 
realize that it was this special. May the gentle soul of Professor Lucia Gwadewa rest in perfect peace. I'm glad to be here.